This video will demonstrate technique for preparing the skin for umbilical catheter placement. The rationale for practice change includes prevention of skin burns in extremely low birth weight infants, avoiding antiseptic contact with the skin during insertion of umbilical lines, and also providing a consistent method for skin and umbilical cord preparation for insertion of umbilical lines in all infants. The first step is to don appropriate sterile barriers as per usual practice. Additional equipment on your tray will be two Halstead forceps as well as two drain sponges. First, pass the sterile Kelly forceps to your assistant and have them hold the cord vertically off the abdomen. Place the sterile drain sponge around the cord base, being careful to overlap it so there is no gap. Cleanse the cord and clamp three times with appropriate antiseptic solution. Start cleansing at the base of the cord and work your way up. After cleansing, allow to dry. You will then remove the drain sponge with the Halstead forceps, being careful not to touch the cord when removing. You can now discard those Halstead forceps and the drain sponge. Gently cleanse the abdomen around the cord with sterile saline, starting at the base of the cord and working your way outward to remove any antiseptic that may have inadvertently dripped on the abdomen. In very premature infants, it is especially important to minimize friction. Discard those forceps as well and apply a second drain sponge around the cord base, overlapping it so there isn't a gap. Apply your drapes around the cord as per current guidelines. Once your drapes are in place, apply the cord tie and proceed with line insertion. To summarize the steps, first prepare your equipment. You will have two extra Halstead forceps and two drain gauzes. Hold the cord vertically off the abdomen with the Kelly forceps. Place the first sterile drain sponge around the cord base. Cleanse the cord and clamp three times with appropriate antiseptic. Remove the drain sponge with the Halstead forceps. Gently cleanse the abdomen around the cord with sterile saline. Place a second drain sponge around the cord base. Drape the area around the cord. Apply the cord, tie, and proceed with line insertion.